happens, happen to those who believe in them, <coughs> said American art historian Bernard. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. We grew up together and shared even our deepest and darkest secrets. Yes, she is my sister, Nitya. Well, this incident happened nine years ago. I was peacefully sleeping. Suddenly, Nitya barged into my room and shouted, Can you get up early and be ready by 7 a.m.? I thought she was calling me for a usual morning walk. And retarding my mind, I said, Morning walk has been postponed for tomorrow. Then all of a sudden, Nitya banged the door, perhaps in despair. I got up and saw the clock, it was 5 a.m. With anger in my voice, I shouted at Nitya, What's wrong with you? She said, It's my big day. And then I realized it was indeed a big day for her. A postgraduate counseling was scheduled on that day and I had promised I would accompany her. My sister had completed her final year Bachelor of Computer Science from St. Joseph and had written her entrance exam in PGCT for pursuing a post-graduation. She was ready by 7 a.m. and was anxiously waiting for me and my parents to get ready. The counseling was held in BMS College in Basavanakuri. We reached the counseling center by 7.45 a.m. and the counseling started exactly on dot 9 o'clock. My sister's eyes were classified on a ranking board and the rank number as rank numbers were ascending every moment. In the meantime, our aged father was glancing at the certificates, which included SNC, POC, and five semester certificates of a graduation. A final semester certificate was pending as she had just received the results. Time struck. Time was ticking. The vacancies were vanishing as well, and Nitya's cheerfulness was also vanishing. We were expecting our turn could come in the morning, but since the ranking was 5,200, the ranking came in the afternoon. Nitya was eagerly waiting for a rank. At last, time struck at 2.30 p.m. and the official started calling the rank 5,200. Before the announcement could end, myself and Nitya were sitting in front of the officer. The officer started checking the certificates and to the biggest shock of our life, he said, my sister will not be able to choose a seat. We were stunned as well as shocked. But Nitya quickly asked the reason. The officer's will was very calm and an iceberg and said, the final sum of the mark sheet was not attested by college authorities. We were we had taken the printout from the UNICEF website which was downloaded. We were out of the frying pan and had fallen into the fire. The officer reiterated that the certificate needed attestation and without which he cannot consider graduation as completed. Nitya couldn't hold her tears. Oh God, how could you do this? I said to myself, and my tears started rolling down from my cheeks as well. See no plan? Our parents rushed was asked, what happened? I explained what the officer had told me. My father, despite his advanced age and frail health, pleaded to the officer saying that the printout was genuine. But the officer was not heeding to our prayers. With a big disappointment, we came out of the counseling room. The counseling officer said, please go get a certificate attested from any gazetted officer. We were broken. My sister's dreams were shattered. The sun was descending and it was 4.30 p.m. We had not taken lunch, even including our aged parents. I asked my sister, how far is the college from here? She said, it's all six kilometers. I said to my parents, we will rush to our college and try to get a certificate attested. With, sister, with my sister on my pillow, I zoomed the busy streets of Basunguri and Jason Nagar ceaselessly honking the horns as if I was piloting the ambulance with the sirens on. Even then, it took 30 precious minutes to our reach our college. But to our frustration, all the head of the departments had left for the day. We desperately ran to each and every HOD's cabin. But to our distress, we could see only the dog doors. My father was calling continuously, and after some time I said, we couldn't find any head of the departments. Despite the distance, I could feel a sense of regret and sadness as he said they are leaving the counseling center. 
my system was continuously leaning on me for the support and straining her tears. We were slowly trudging out of our college. We were slowly trudging out of our college. And Nikki came up was a tall and lean person standing in front of us asked, What happened? Nitya narrated the incident. Can you imagine what the person had said? With a generous smile, he said, I am the head of the library department of the college that is a resident officer and is authorized to sign the mark sheet. With the splits against our world had come alive. I saw hope and the fingers. I saw a sudden smile blooming out of the hidden tears from my sister. He quickly signed the certificates. This person was a messiah for us. A savior in the form of librarian. With the certificate signed, I zoomed back at breakneck speed to the six kilometers to the counseling center in that fading light. We reached the counseling center and there was another disappointment waiting for us as if we had ordered for it. The counseling room's front door was shut. The joy of reaching the counseling center just evaporated. My sister, fighting back her tears, said, Let's check the rear entrance. We ran. We checked the rear entrance. Even the rear door was shut and a guard was guarding it. I asked the guard if the counseling was still going on. He said, the last batch of the counseling is going on. I narrated the entire day's incident and pleaded to the guard to allow us in. Looking at us, he seemed to understand our plight and said, Son, I'm not supposed to permit to enter anyone from the rear entrance, but I'm allowing you because I can see the disappointment in your face. Seeing this, he allowed us in. This security guard was a second messiah for us. This guard played a pivotal role in making my sister's dream come reality. With hopes in our heart, we rushed to the counseling center and met the same officer who had attended us in the morning. Nitya showed the signed certificates and folded her hands as if she was praying to God. The officer said, the counseling was over. I pleaded with the officer, stating, please allow my sister to pursue her dream. With a generous smile, the officer said, okay, I will allow your sister's dream to become reality. Here comes a golden opportunity. My sister chose a seat in MBA, chose an MBA seat in Diana Southern College of Engineering. Today, she is one of the successful HR person in Essential Consulting Services. She is extremely focused in her career, fiercely competitive and obsessively organized. I witnessed a series of miracles on that day. I would like to conclude, if everyone believes in himself, miracles happen. Miracles happen to those who believe in them. Oh, do you go smile.